Hey, well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to DrinkNectar.com. I'm your host, Josh Wade, and this is the Internet's place to explore the five senses of coffee and wine. Tonight is all about California cabs, and if you were participating at all on Twitter, then you're familiar with the hashtag CaliCabs. It was a phenomenal event orchestrated and arranged by uh, Rick Backus of St. Supery Winery. Uh, information scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now, I'm sure. Um, phenomenal events, you know, interesting concept where you, um, you know, grassroots effort, you reach out to people that you know and follow, you reach out to wineries, and people are uh, in unison um, as one voice tweeting about and talking about uh, one particular varietal from one state um, in the country. And, you know, early stats show that uh, about 250 people were participating, over 1,500 tweets. Um, as I was watching uh, it go down, um, there was rarely anybody that was drinking just one bottle from one area of California. So and I know that uh, they have an event um, scheduled for Sauvignon Blanc uh, with the hashtag um, Sauv Blanc for March the 4th. And for us in the state of Washington, Keep your eyes and ears tuned, so we've got something exciting coming, and we've got some special tie-ins with people across the country, some big names, and also some people uh, within the state that are going to be helping us promote this event. So just keep your eyes and ears open for that. But let's, uh, without further ado, get into the California cabs that I tasted tonight. Uh, the first one that I tasted was from Southern California. This one is uh, from Paso Robles. It's the Liberty School 2007 Cabernet Sauvignon. This one is uh, $15. Actually, I think it's fourteen dollars on the website, and uh, give it a swirl. You see, it's very dark, very inky. You can't see the bottom of your hand. It's uh, very opaque, but it has some nice ruby colors uh, coming out towards the edges. Let's give it a sniff. Obviously, I've had this wine already this evening, um, and this one is just a little bit more subdued on the nose, but it does have some bright um, blackberry fruit coming out, and what still is there from earlier from this evening still is some of that briar or um, evergreen tree kind of is what I get out of it. Might be some of the oakiness or the smoked oak that I'm uh, picking up as the evergreen tree, but that's what's on the nose. Let's give it a sip. Still has a lot of great flavor. It's a, definitely a Cabernet. Uh, it's big, it's bold, has a lot of dark fruit in it. Uh, makes you want to pucker up at the end, a um, little tart there on the back end, but that's just that tannin that really helps it uh, pair well with a lot of foods, a lot of big, bold, rich foods, meats, pastas, those types of things. Uh, incredibly blown away that I could pick this quality of a wine up uh, for $14, $15. Uh, but overall, just a phenomenal wine. So that's the, uh, uh, from Paso Robles, the Liberty School Cabernet Sauvignon. Next wine we have up is the Crows. This is a 2004 Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. This was $35 on the website, and I picked it up for $36. That always kind of frustrates me. I don't know about you. Uh, after you buy something where you bought at the store and you paid more than what the winery is selling it for. So this one spent 40 months in oak. Um, so 2004, uh, 40 months in oak. Wasn't bottled until 2008, so uh, pretty amazing. Let's give this the swirl. <coughs> Actually, a little, uh, little lighter, sorry, than the last one. Um, you can see a little more translucence on the edges, and it starts to get that um, you know aged look, the brownish colorization in there, or the rust colored colorization um, that you see in there. Let's give it a sniff. <sighs> Still amazing. You see the smile on my face. Um, very bright uh, perfume, flower, uh, it has a lot of bright blackberries, a little bit of blueberry coming through in there. Earlier I smelled a little bit of vanilla coming out, just that hint, kind of underlying tone from the oak. Um, a ton happening on this nose, a phenomenal smelling wine. And while we were tasting uh, during the Cali Cabs event, I think I smelled this wine for like 10 minutes straight before I even took a sip. So let's give it a sip. Well, a lot happening in the mouth, just like a party going on there. Different flavors, you got some brightness happening out in the back end with some acidity. You have that beautiful fruit 
it's rolling across the front of your tongue. Uh, it is that blackberry, it is that cherry. Um, the vanilla is in there, it's not overly oaked. And it has actually a, a little less tannin structure uh, than the first wine, so it's been aged really well. Um, it's starting to uh, come alive. Probably would be amazing even just one or two more years in the cellar. Uh, you probably cellar this wine for another five to seven years, and it would still taste phenomenal and get uh, even better and better as it aged. Um, excellent wine. If you can afford, afford to spend $35 on a wine, you will not be disappointed in this wine. And I picked it up at a local shop uh, here in Spokane. So uh, that's the uh, Cali Cabs event. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to look out for an awesome Washington wine event coming up later in March. You will hear all about it. Uh, anyway, um, you enjoyed tonight, and it's always fun to enjoy wine with friends, even if it is virtually online. So I want to encourage you to grab a glass of wine and drink happy.